Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to do a quick overview on the Tuya Knives Skelton Blade Works Hellfire Mini. And um, I love this thing. I think Jim is absolutely killing it with Tuya. Um, his designs are not going to be for everyone, and I'll be honest that they're not really for me in general. Um, the aesthetics and the aggression and the tactical look and everything is not necessarily my style. But, you know, I can appreciate the design and the effort that goes into the details and how Tuya is really killing these. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just think they're really cool. So that's kind of where I'm at with uh, these collaborations he's doing. I absolutely loved the Scaphoid. That was the most recent one. Um, the uh, Kaladins were really cool. And then you have the uh, Hellfire Mini now. And there's a full size coming as well. Beautiful milled clip. Um, I do wish they would do T8s on the uh, screws there. I don't know why they're still using T6s. Um, they got the memo on the uh, Wrath V2s. They switched over to T8. So I think they're getting there. And it's not the end of the world or anything. Um, the action on this is incredible. Um, the details are excellent. I mean, look at how that backspacer sits up out of the frame a little bit. The uh, pad right here for your finger. The inlays. Um, the contouring. The channel down here. Um, and I think Jim said these were going to come in around 275 to 300, which is just insane. I think it's S90V steel. And titanium with carbon fiber inlays. I mean, I don't know what else you could really ask for um, with this build quality. Two is just getting so much better and better every time I look at their knives. We have no lash of any kind. We have a perfect detent. Um, they're just really dialing it in lately. You have a uh, beautiful flipper tab that I've learned to uh, push button and or light switch both work excellently you have a captive pivot system uh, nice milled clip i've actually carried this a few times and it feels great in the pocket it doesn't feel too massive um, which is interesting right um, it works left-handed uh pretty damn well um, i can't reverse flick it too well but i can uh use the flipper it actually adds a little bit to the detent because you can put a little pressure on that lock bar or you can come up here do it however you want um, the D10 itself, I could probably, I mean, almost failed it, but I mean, look at the size of this blade. No, I can't. Um, but if you even try, it fires out of there. You can get your finger down here and get a beautiful reverse wig. Or what I've been trying to do is get it up top here and you get a massive reverse flick. You can thumb flick it if you get it right. Um, I think I'm better at that left-handed. Yeah. Um, give it a little risk just to, you know, get it to come out, but um, feels great. Lefty reverse flick down on the clip. Man, it's just so cool. Look at the freaking blade on this thing. Just a wild design, right? Um, you have a compound, dual grind. Uh, Jim was saying, he was on my live stream last night, and he was saying that he actually wanted the stock to be thicker. But I think he's glad the way it came out, but he thought it was going to be thicker and I think this is perfect because you get that guillotine drop, but it's not like deadly drop. It's just like, okay, we're swinging down. You know what I mean? Um, but you also get a super slicey blade. This thing has to be a beast on cardboard and such. I should probably do a testing video with this and add it in here for you guys because I think this would be a really fun one to cut with. So I may do that. Stay tuned. Uh, you would have seen a... Uh, Timestamp at the beginning if I did do that. Dead nut centered, just beautiful, man. The ergos, you get this finger choil here, and then you get this area here, and then you basically get this whole back area for your pinky. Um, that's how I like to hold it. You can also cram them all on, and that works just fine. Um, but I kind of like to spread it out like this and hold it like this, and that is super comfortable to me. Um, flipper tab doesn't get you at all. It's just a nice little guard. You have a spot right here to rest your thumb right up, or you can climb up onto that jimping up here, which is also really, really good. Um, honestly, can't wait to see the full size one. I uh, can't believe I'm saying that 
not being a massive knife guy, but this thing is just sick, dude. Skelton Blade Works logo down here. Um, great flipper action. I mean, look at the chamfering right here for your lock bar access. Cut back a little bit. Boom. I mean, I just, you know, uh, I'm definitely biased in a sense because I love Jim, but he's just got it down, man. And Tuya is killing it with the the execution. So they're just, I guess what I'm trying to say is if, if you look at, and I really liked the Kaladin V1, right? I like that knife. But if you look at the Kaladin V1, and then you just watch that progression from Kaladin V1 to Kaladin V2, right? To Scaphoid, to now the Hellfire Mini. It's just, I mean, it's incredible how much better they're getting together. You can see Tuya and Jim literally working together and just getting better and better as they go, right? I mean, that's the best way for me to put it. Um, and that's the kind of shit we want to see, right? Um, a lot of you guys, I don't like to, you know, talk too much about, uh, Devo stuff unless I'm, you know, doing it. There's a drop or something. Uh, you guys know me. I never include our own knives in like best of shit. It's just not my style. But if you look at the evolution of the V1 stout to the V2 stout, that's the kind of shit I think the community wants to see, right? And a lot of that is community driven. You guys give us amazing feedback and, and we get to learn and and Jim's taking that along with his own experience and, and learning from what he sees from Tuya and their relationship and just really putting it all together, guys. And uh, now you're getting some absolutely fire knives for amazing prices, right? Um, is this for everybody? No. Would I go out and spend 275, 300 on this personally? Probably not. Um, I might to support my buddy Jim and I love Dave Warren, but point is aesthetically design wise, it's not necessarily my style. Is it a sick ass knife? Yes. If it is your style, should you get one? I mean, it's hard to say no to that. I mean, the price point, the quality, and just the uniqueness of this design. I mean, look at that fucking blade, dude. It's it's crazy. I, I love it, dude. I really do. I would love to see a um, a uh, a Hellfire Slim. I know that sounds wild, but like a like a like a shorter, not skinnier, because it's already thin. A shorter Hellfire would be wild, dude. Now he does have something kind of like that. That he's working on with uh, Mech Force. Um, so if you look at the Hellraiser, I think it's called, that he's working on with them, that's kind of what I'm talking about. And I love the way that that prototype came out. He's changing it a little bit, which I kind of wish he wasn't, but I'm sure they'll come out great and I'll be stoked on it. But um, that's one I would buy, that Mech Force design. I just love that Hellraiser design. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But Hellfire, hell yes. That's that's pretty much my uh, it's pretty much my review here, guys. I love it. Um, call me biased, sure, um, but you, at some point you have to just respect game. And Jim's been around a long fucking time, like him or not. The man has game. He's got design chops, and he's really putting in the work. And um, building that relationship with N O E M, I think, is really smart. And you can see that relationship just blossoming, and I, and I think that's amazing. Now, some of you are going to ask, can you front flip this thing? And no, I've fucking tried, and I can't do it. Um, maybe some of you maniacs could do it. But um, I think having a beautiful reverse flick, a thumb flick when you want to do it, and then awesome flipper tab is enough for me. Beautiful drop shut action. And again, no play, no rock, drop shut centered beautiful i mean the, the chamfers everywhere um the, the, i mean guys all right i'm gonna shut up sorry i did this with the scaphoid too guys i just they're just on point and then you you throw that price tag in and you're like damn you know just gets me excited so uh check it out i think these are dropping 
tomorrow my time, which is the 2nd of March. So they're probably available right now. Hopefully. Um, check it out. Use my code LEFTY. You'll get 5% off. That is not an affiliate link. But I do get sent knives. These do go into the pass around. So, you know, take that for whatever it's worth. Um, here's a uh, size comparison to the Tuya Wrath V2. Excellent size comparison. Pretty much dead on right there. I think we're talking about a three and a half inch blade. Um, CKF Dabless. Again, really good size comparison. I'll show it to you with the stout here. It's going to be a little bigger than that, I think. Yeah, just slightly though. Not much. Um, so you're talking about probably a 3.3 to 3.5 inch blade. Yep, 3 and a quarter, 3.3, I would say. And then you're right at 7.5 over. I mean, it's freaking perfect, guys. Um, so basically it is stout size, actually. So let me know your thoughts. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Shout out to Jim Skelton, killing it. Um, go check out Jim's channel. Uh, good dude, great content, uh, a fucking OG in the game. And, um, yeah. So, love you guys. Catch you later. Peace.